Marcus is checking out another must-see Halloween display. Hey, Marcus. Actually, uh... Marcus isn't here. This is Lieutenant Colombo of the <laughs> LAPD. Wow. Uh, That's not bad. I was in town on a case, <laughs> and uh, I was told I had to come here to check out this <laughs> amazing Halloween display in this yard, and it is just, oh boy, I tell you, it is uh, just, well, I'm gonna tell you all about it in a sec. First, we've got some, uh, uh, we got some trending news here, and I can't figure out this device. I, they gave me one of these. And, uh, Mrs. Colombo gives me something like this, and I just, well, let's go to the, we got some video here. Uh, kids trick-or-treating on Halloween. The kids, little kids are good, but, some towns are cracking down on the older teens trick-or-treating in Chesapeake, Virginia. They're going as far as threatening them with six months in jail before wow. backing off and declaring what? it a simple misdemeanor. <laughs> uh, in Illinois, the state where you live, uh, Belleville says you can't trick-or-treat if you're in high school. Downstate Jacksonville outlaws it for kids 13 and older. Even as a police officer, I think that's a little extreme, but yeah. you know, nobody asks me any of these <laughs> things anymore. All right, one more, one, another story here. Americans are spending $700 million annually on Halloween costumes for their pets. $700 According million? to the National Retail Federation. $700 million wow. on their pets. Yes, the most popular costumes include a pumpkin, a hot dog, a bat, a bumblebee, and a spider. But uh, Barbie, they say, is going to be a big hit among the fur babies this year. I don't know. Uh, retailers say pet costume purchases increased 15% from last year. I, might, I guess I have to get dog a Halloween costume now. I got to go get it for dog and Mrs. Clyde or something. <laughs> It's a lot of work. So we're back out here at this Halloween. Look at just look around at this display and all the skeletons that are out. I mean, during the day it looks like this, but you got to see what it looks like at night when it's all lit up. It just looks fantastic. You've got just these wonderful skeletons all themed after different things. Tons of inflatables all over the yard and it goes inside of the house. We talked to the homeowner, John Foster, a little bit earlier today. Uh, take a look at this. Inside the house, uh, probably to this extent, I'd say 12, wow. 13 years, but uh, oh. decoration-wise, uh, over 20. Over 20. Ooh. And this is all, I know when people come out, they can see the outside of your house. You're not letting just the general public to go all over inside your house, but I know you had a party here, but you're doing all this for a good cause as well. Tell me about that. Correct. So, yes, um, yeah, basically it's near and dear to my heart. Um, our son was diagnosed with autism when he was four years old, so we decided based on his love of Halloween and also to raise awareness um, for Autism Society, we turned it into a fundraiser. So that's why the, the outside is uh, done up as much as the inside at this point. Yeah, so you can come on down here to uh, 3461 Lily Lane. That is in Dyer, Indiana. Uh, it's just a, uh, again, they're doing it for a good cause. You can make a donation to the Autism Foundation. It's just been, I hope you all have a happy, oh, just one more thing. Uh, what, one more thing before yeah. I let you go. Fantasy costumes. Have you been to fantasy costumes? This fantasy, oh my goodness. They got all kinds of costumes there. They got wigs there. Just, um, just, they gotta say thank you to them for all the help they've given uh, me this morning on all my uh, costumes. So Marcus, the commitment to your Halloween. character. Don't do anything stupid. I'll Very show up admirable. at your house. And <laughs>